gray baby syndrome what is this syndrome gray baby syndrome is a drug specific side effect and it is caused by one of the drug chloramphenicol which is one of an antibiotic and it is mainly observed in premature infants as well as the neonates what are the symptoms of this syndrome the main symptom of this syndrome is the gray discoloration of the skin so that's why it is called as gray baby syndrome apart from this gray discoloration it can also produce reduced body temperature in the baby vomiting as well as cardiac irregularities all these are the fatal conditions which should be immediately treated so this syndrome is caused by chloramphenicol so before that let us see what is the structure of this chloramphenicol chloramphenicol is having this structure and you can observe that it is having few of the groups like oh group chlorine group and nitro group all these groups are polar groups rendering the chlorophenicol polar in nature how it acts chlorophenicol mainly acts by inhibition of the protein synthesis within the protein synthesis one of the important step is the formation of a peptide link between the amino acids present on the p site and a site of the ribosome this step is mediated by one of the key enzyme peptidyl transferase enzyme which brings the new peptide bond between the two amino acids in this way a new peptide bond is formed with each addition of new amino acid so this crucial step is going to be blocked by chloramphenicol so chloramphenicol inhibits the bacterial protein synthesis by inhibition of the transpeptidation the linkage between the amino acids what is the fate of chloramphenicol chloramphenicol as already we have seen it is one of a polar drug therefore chloramphenicol mainly undergoes phase 2 metabolism and it does not require phase 1 metabolism so it can directly undergo conjugation to form chloramphenicol glucuronide by the enzyme udp glucuronyl transferase in this way chloramphenicol can be converted into it's one of metabolite chloramphenicol glucuronide now this chloramphenicol can be directly reach into the kidney otherwise it can be converted into metabolite and then it can reach into the kidney then the kidney is responsible for excretion of this drug as unchanged as well as as its metabolite in this way chloramphenicol undergoes metabolism by conjugation as well as it is directly excreted now let us see the fate of the drug in the premature infants and neonates so already we have seen the chloramphenicol is a polar drug so it is going to be directly excreted otherwise it can be converted into its metabolite which is then excreted so two important organs which are controlling the levels of this chloramphenicol are liver and kidney in the premature infants and neonates these two organs are not fully developed therefore chloramphenicol undergoes less metabolism as well as it is less excreted in the premature infants and neonates and this results in the increased levels of chloramphenicol in premature infants and neonates so what is the effect of this raised chloramphenicol levels in this premature babies chloramphenicol can inhibit the electron transport chain thereby it inhibits the mitochondrial respiration so when the mitochondrial respiration is inhibited it reduces the oxygen supply thereby it leads to the one of the condition cyanosis a blue discoloration because of lack of oxygen this cyanosis may cause gray discoloration of the skin in the baby that's why it is called as gray baby syndrome and apart from this gray discoloration of the skin the cyanosis can also lead to the reduced body temperature as well as some cardiac irregularities so the main reason for all this gray baby syndrome is the excessive levels of chloramphenicol which, which is less metabolized as well as less excreted in the premature babies so that's why chloramphenicol is not preferred in the premature babies and neonates as it can affect the mitochondrial respiration and can precipitate the gray baby syndrome